Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Hey guys, this is Mohinak from KRSG IT Kharagpur and today I am going to present to you another great software that I just discovered that will help beginners like just like you to get started with the world of electronics very easily. So let's get started. Now uh, if you are a beginner and you want to get started with your first electronics project, it can be quite daunting right? to go from idea to implementation. Say, you want to design some a very simple thing like a controller for your uh, the uh, lights at your home. Suppose you want to control lights at your home using your Arduino Uno. Though this may seem a very simple project, but uh, to actually realize that in uh, in practical life, you you've got to do many uh, things that are involved in the process. Like first, you've got to design your circuit. Then you've got to design the PCB. Then you've got to write the code for uh, controlling the lights and then finally you've got a working product that actually does what you want to do. But there are a large number of steps that are involved in the process and uh, there are very few softwares which actually encapsulate all of those steps into one. So today I'm going to be talking about ex a software that does exactly that. The name of the software I'm going to discuss here is Fritzing. It's a very cool software. You can uh, if, if I, it's available for free and it's open source also. So yeah, so today we'll use Fritzing to uh, to design an Arduino Uno based uh, smart home automation shield. That would do uh, what that would do is just operate a relay based on uh, commands given by the Arduino Uno. So let's get started. All right. So now I'm going to walk you through uh, what we are going to do today. So Firstly, what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, take our Arduino Uno, the physical Arduino Uno over here. And as you know that it has certain uh, female headers, uh, like four female headers at four different locations. Uh, the actual setup looks something like this. You can compare that to the actual Arduino design actually. Just a minute. Yeah. So this is the actual Arduino Uno. It has certain headers over here as you can see. These are the female headers. What we want now is to create a shield, a relay shield that can mount on top of this. So effectively what you uh, want is you want male headers at the bottom layer of that uh, whatever PCB you are going to use. So that will just mount onto this uh, Arduino Uno. And on that shield what will be there is just this relay. It's a relay module that will help us uh, like turn on or off lights in our room. All right. So, so uh, just as I said, uh, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to create a shield. The shield would go on top of our Arduino. Let me change the color. So what the shield will have is male headers that will directly go into these uh, headers that are actually there on the Arduino and on top of this will be our relay module. So this is our relay module over here. Here. All right. What we also need to add is uh, our sub connectors so that we can co actually connect physical devices to our relay module. So you'll have wires going out from here. This is the live wire and this is the neutron wire that will then connect to your AC appliances. All right, so this is it. So let's get started with software. All right, so the first, uh, I'll leave the software installation to you. Uh, on opening up the software, you'll be greeting, greeted up with this screen uh, with just one breadboard on the screen. So as you can see on the top, there are four, uh, there are four tabs that you need to uh, use in your design. First one is the breadboard, which is something similar to the interface that you get in Tinkercad. So you can see uh, there are all sorts of components over here. You can just drag and drop them over here, like any random components. Like. All right, so once you've got a hang of how you can drag and drop components, you can actually uh, go ahead and look at what are the different components that are available. You can see 
the Arduino Uno that's available. In all likelihood, this is exactly similar to what you get in Tinkercad. The only catch here is you can't simulate circuits over here. So, anyways, uh, once you have an idea ready, it's obvious that you actually have that uh, idea working. Otherwise, you wouldn't ha have proceeded to make your relay shield in the first place. All right, so. Star design, what we need is just a piece of perf board that would be used to make the circuit. Uh, we also need a relay. So let's uh, just search for all these components over here. So I've already searched for perf board. So this is the perf board which will be uh, the basic uh, structure of on uh, this, this will be the platform on which the basic structure of our shield will be laid on. So this is the perf board. It has uh, Holes separated at 2.54 mm, which is 0.1 inches. So, uh, yeah, so it's actually 0.01 inches. Anyways, uh, so what uh, these holes, as you can see over here, are copper clad, which means that if you put wire in that and try soldering it, the solder would stick to these copper clad and that would create a physical circuit. So, uh, other than this, what we need is a relay. So, something that uh, you need to be careful about is that there are many different sorts of components in Fritzing. So, searching for the component you are looking for can be quite tricky since there are so many components over here. What we need over here is a relay that is switched by 5 volts because that is all the Arduino can supply. So, uh, some reference you can uh, take is uh, by reading the names at the bottom and the description that is given. So over here what I need is a single pole single throw relay that will uh, that will uh, toggle the state of my uh, whatever I am trying to control like light or a fan. So it should have a single control input and based on that control input a single appliance should be controlled. So here I am in need of a single pole single throw relay. So I will just drag that into my design. You can see that uh, but there is a problem over here since it is rated for 12 volt DC so we can't use this. We have to look for something else. Alright so let's keep looking. Alright, we have something over here, but this is also 12 volts rated. Alright, so there's another thing that you can do if you don't get the component you are looking for. You can uh, you can take a component that's spin compatible with your uh, uh, the physical component that you are going to use. In this case, I know that this is a 12 volt relay. I won't be using it in the final design, but I also know that uh, if you look at a physical uh, at, at, the, at a 12 volt relay and a 5 volt relay their PCB footprint would remain exactly the same so there isn't really a difference if you are using if you are just uh, placing it on the PCB to just make the circuit so yeah I, th I guess we can go ahead with this and we can proceed to the next steps other than this what we need to do is uh, as I said, we need to attach screw terminals so that we can, uh, yeah. So here you can see I have these green screw terminals that I can use to uh, connect to the main supply. So I can use this. I can. What I want to do is I'll rotate this. So yeah, let's rotate this by 90. All right. So. What we have over here is supply lines would come in over here and attach to the live and the neutral over here. This again would be attached to the normally open terminal of the relay. So we connect this over here. Another thing to note is that you can't make zigzag connections on uh, the perf board because you have to proceed over these copper traces. So there's no nothing like zigzag trace. So you'll have to wire it up like in this fashion, in straight lines. Alright. 
although some lines may not look straight but uh, in the physical circuit they would be made straight all right so the other terminal of the relay that we need to join is the main terminal so the main and the coil terminal uh, are the non and the normally open terminals are actually uh, the terminals of the relay that of that actually connect the load and the other two terminals are the control terminals which are called the coil 1 and coil 2 these would be connected to the arduino to uh, get control input from it all right so now this is wired up we can hook this up to this so our live uh, our load wiring is done now we need to wire it up to the arduino but uh, again as i said there's no arduino over here so we'll just use a pin that's available on the arduino let's say it's pin d7 or let's say it's pin d8 and yeah so we uh, so what would happen is when that Uh, whatever pin we are using on the Arduino, when that goes high, then the relay should trigger. So uh, obviously, I need a resistor over here so that I can limit the current from my Arduino. So let's search for a resistor. It would be in the core components. Yeah, I have a resistor over here. I can drag it over here. If I want, I can rotate this by 90 degrees. There. So. i join this and i connect this to ground you can't see ground over here i know but uh when we make our pcb this will become more clearer why we are doing why we are making the connections like this so once you've got everything wired up you have a physical picture of what your actual pcb is going what your shield is going to look like in practice so the next step is actually creating the schematic to connect the components in your design so since we have already made the connections in the breadboard you can see that these physical connections are mapped to the schematic also this is something a very good feature in uh, fritzing which few other softwares have oh sorry let's undo the change all right so this is our screw terminal over here uh we can just rotate this so that yeah so this is our screw terminal and this is our resistor that will connect to ground so let's flip that yeah so this will connect this will be connected to ground let's look for ground over here i don't know Whether it is connected or not, actually we shouldn't look for ground over here. We directly connect it to the ground terminal of the Arduino. So this has to be taken care of while designing the PCB. So this connection is made, and this will this pin or the other control pin of the relay would also be connected to the Arduino. So we don't need to care about this also. So a very simple circuit, and we can then directly go ahead and make our PCB. on the pcb what we want is first we have this relay over here we have the screw terminal over here we can rotate this so that it faces the other side all right so while making the pcb it is very important to understand the actual uh, setup of the arduino so we want our shield to mount on top of this so we need to be very careful that we are on our pcb we are working on our bottom layer which means that if we are attaching any uh, headers mail headers then we'll have to place them at the bottom layer otherwise our circuit won't we won't be able to connect our circuit because the headers would then be facing upwards and that would be quite useless so we we'll, we have to be very careful about that the way we change the view from top to bottom is with this option over here we can view it from above and from below all right so we have our sir pcb over here we can we can place our components as we want let's do from above yeah all right another thing that we need to consider over here is that the actual dimensions of the arduino so one thing you can do is you can take a scale and you can measure the arduino from all the angles and then 
translate that physical design over here like you will get a ruler option over here let's look for the ruler so you can take the ruler like a physical scale and make the connections but that's a very tedious process right so a simple hack that i use is uh, search for shield over here you will get different types of shields all right there are too many shields over here you can just take one random shield that you have over here suppose i take this shield and i drag it onto my uh, pcb canvas as you can see you already have the pins set up for you over here so all you need to do is just uh, put the headers in the right places so the way to do that is like you can see that this is already uh, wired up over here so let's rotate this Okay, so that's all folks for this time. I hope you enjoyed the video and like this really cool software called Printing. In the next part, we'll uh, route all these components. We'll add additional headers that we need to mount our uh, shield onto the actual Arduino Uno. And we'll also have a look at how you can code your Arduino from within Printing. Isn't that exciting? So please stay tuned for the next update. And till then, stay creative and I will see you next time.